What does a TTC token and a Metro Pass have in common? Well, they're both on their way out, as a Presto card will soon be one of the only ways to pay. The phasing in of Presto was the topic of a Metrolink's TTC public consultation meeting tonight. They're not consulting. They're telling us what we're going to do and how it's going to impact you and figure it out. So when we asked about how much it's costing us, that's not a secret thing. Residents who came out for the meeting were upset at a few things, including the $6 fee to activate a Presto card and the eventual elimination of TTC tokens, which, if purchased in bulk, reduced the actual fare by 25 cents, which may not seem like a lot, but... If you're receiving OW as a single person in Toronto, you're receiving $733 to pay for your rent, to pay for your food, to pay for your transit. So 25 cents is, is a significant. According to the TTC and Metrolinx, the bulk discount still needs to be reviewed. We do need board approval because it is a fair change. Um, as far as the process for bulk sales, and or in person, online, we are still working through that. So we're working with Metrolinx in partnership. Just give us some you answers. You gave us a week to mobilize people here. People who came out to the meeting asked Metrolinx to hold more public consultations in other areas of the city, not just downtown. Metrolinx says they are open to having more. So here's what you need to know. By the end of this year, Metro passes will be gone, and by the end of next year, TTC tokens will also be gone. Sean Cowan, City News.